These metal ones, they are a nightmare to remove. You pretty much just have to take off the top, rip it off from the shell, and then you push the rest inside the wall because as you can see, getting it the other way leaves a massive hole. There's these ones, these are super simple. You can pretty much just dig in one side, rip it out like that, or use a putty knife and just pop it out like that. These are very, very easy to remove, the plastic ones. And lastly, there's these ones. These are actually my favorite because you can use a screwdriver to just flip set and they screw in and screw out the wall. All right, so this one is a plastic wall anchor. Easy, putty knife, dig it around it. It just comes off very simply. Just dig into it and pull. And you can literally just take the rest off of your hand. So just digging it out like that. And pulling with my hand just gets it out very simply. We'll be patching this stuff afterwards. Again, this one, I just, oh, look at that. I'm trying to rip it out and it is working. Oh, look at that. Okay, yeah, this is an, another type of wall anchor. For this one, it's actually a lot easier. Uh, you can use a Phillips head screwdriver and just unscrew it out. Look at that magic. You just use a little screwdriver for these ones. So same screwdriver, these ones are already removed. These anchors, as you can see, there's a cross pattern, so you can actually use a Phillips head screwdriver, fit in there, just unscrew it out the wall. These are nice anchors, nice, thick, juicy anchors. The metal ones, they are, oh, these guys are hard, 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 hard. I'll show you this one, this one, you need to dig into it. Twist, 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 twist it up. I'm pretty much trying to break off the front of it. So twist, 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 twist it up. Twist, 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 twist it up. Other side, twist, dig underneath. And we're gonna try taking the top off. These are very, very challenging. Just, yeah, once you get enough movement in it, sometimes they just pop off really simply. But once you get enough of a gap, you can then use your pliers and just crush, crush that top. So crushed it once and pull as you crush it and it will come off. This is the top of it. Throw that crap out of the way. And then you're left with this part. So the easiest thing to do, and it seems like everyone seems to be doing it, is just push it inside the hole and hope. You know, it lives with your house foundations. Whereas with the metal ones, oh, they are just a burden. They wouldn't come out like that one. Pliers are your friend. Pop in the inside, into the wall. I guess wear eye protection and rip it off and push the rest in the hole. Maybe I could have taken that one out. Again. Twist, 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 twist. Rip it off. So dig in one side of the pliers, other side of the pliers. Get contact and twist. Dig in, contact, twist. Dig in, I guess, go into the wall a little bit. Get contact, good contact, and twist. Try the other side, if you're not having success. Oh, there you go, comes right out. Actually, I'm trying to get this one out fully. Let's see. Oh, look at that. That's why they are impossible to remove. They come up, this is a metal one, and they just literally hog that much surface. So you'll be making a massive hole if you try to remove them, so it's always easier to just, to just push them forwards. And I think we are done. There you go. All right, now that's done. I'm gonna go through every single 
part of the wall and just clean it up a little bit. So starting on this side, just there. Scrape. Good. Now it's time to patch this stuff up. <laughs> Just look how sweaty I got. <sighs> Fixing up your house, it's great exercise. <laughs> 